We all have things we need to get done. Some are more important than others, but these things are related to different areas of responsibility in our lives. The problem comes is when we get distracted and either delay accomplishing these tasks or put them off altogether. These roadblocks can come in the form of distractions like our phone or social media or that of disorganization and a lack of strategy. We wish we could get past these roadblocks, but too often we are losers in this battle in trying to accomplish our tasks. I believe that not only do these roadblocks prevent us from accomplishing the tasks that we want to accomplish, but also our ability to serve God faithfully. Because of this, I want to encourage you with a couple points of strategy that can help you better minimize distractions and get to the important stuff. The first point is organize tasks by level of urgency. Too many people meander around the responsibilities with no purposeful action. I don't want that for you. That's why I want to encourage you to take this first simple step of writing out all your tasks out, then ranking them by level of urgency associated with each task. I learned this from my dad. By doing this, the first task on the list should be the one of the greatest urgency. If you follow through with this strategy, it will greatly decrease the likelihood that one of your tasks or responsibilities will fall through the cracks. So the second point of strategy is to streamline the way you remember things that you need to do. Now when you first remember maybe a task that you need to accomplish, something you need to remember, somebody you need to email, something you need to finish, what do you do? Do you just kind of have it in your mind and you're like, oh, I'll get to that eventually. Well, I would say that that is a big reason why a lot of people actually delay getting stuff done is because they actually forget about it. And that's why I want to help you out by remembering and giving you a way to streamline the way you remember things that you need to do. So I would encourage you to have a designated place where you put these things that you need to remember, either in a specific notebook or task reminder app. I like to use Todoist. I think it's really helpful in consolidating tasks that I remember throughout the day and being able to put them on scheduled reminders. And it's just an easy way of making sure nothing slips through the cracks in how you're remembering um, what you need to accomplish and getting things done. It's really a fun incentive to have things checked off. I enjoy it. I encourage you to check it out. So the third strategy to be more productive in your life is do not keep your phone within arm's reach. The biggest roadblock that many face is more than just disorganization and a lack of strategy, but it is the distraction of the internet and social media. To combat this, my advice is simple. When you're trying to complete a task, don't have your phone near you while you work. Okay, I, 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 I want to preface this by saying I know this may sound extreme. Um, you know, people are like, okay, don't have your phone within arm's reach, you must be really addicted. Now, I think a lot of us, if you're a, you know, Gen Z, um, millennial, you grew up with a phone or you got it early on in your life, it's been kind of um, a natural habit to just have it in your hand, have it in your pocket, have it close to you, have it available with that thing in the back of your head saying, oh, once I'm finished this thing, I'm going to check up on Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or Twitter. Or, you know what? Or I'm going to just say, see what, see if my uh, subscriptions on YouTube have a new video and I'm just going to check there real quick. It's always in the back of your mind to some degree. And I think that really puts a roadblock in front of us being productive and being able to focus on things. So actually, as I wrote this script for this video, I sat on the floor and I grabbed a, grabbed a piece of paper, a notepad and just a pen. And I just began to write down my thoughts. And usually I do this at my computer with my phone in hand. And you know what? I, it would be a write, write, write. And then I check my phone and then I write and then I check my phone. And actually by doing this and having literally throwing my phone across the room, having it there, it forced me to just write, not even worry about not, not being worried about having my phone or need to check, in, check it. I'm um, not about my having my emails open on my computer. Didn't worry about any of that. It was just me, the piece of paper, the pen, and I just needed to write. 
And this was really beneficial for me. And I just wanted to share that with you because if you're having trouble focusing on things, I think it's just a matter of literally getting your phone out of your pocket, throwing it across the room and not getting up. Cause a lot of, for me, it's like, I'm too lazy to get up and get my phone. I'm not going to do that. So it forces me to just focus on what I'm doing. And I just want to encourage you in that and say, hey, I know the phone can be a big roadblock. Like it's awesome to have and it can be really useful. Like earlier I was talking about the task reminder tools on my phone and I, I really do enjoy those things. But I think there's also a place to just push distractions to the side and really hone in on what you have to do. And I think if we can hone in and get rid of distractions, we're going to be a lot more productive. And I think God's going to use that productivity if we're wise for his glory and work in his kingdom so that's why i want to encourage you toward that today and i hope these tips have helped you um yeah be more productive in your own life and be and get stuff done i hope uh i hope these have helped you in that and um let me know what you think in the comments down below if you have other tips and tricks and how you're more productive and get rid of distractions i'd be really interested in hearing from you give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe um if you like these videos on my channel thanks so much guys and i'll see you next time